Isn't it interesting that people will fight in dysfunctionalism? They will fight to have a place in dysfunctionalism. They will fight uh, to, to, to be a leader in dysfunctionalism. They will uh, 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 cut you in the back. They will fight you because they desire to be uh, the presider over the funeral of something. They will fight you just because they want to be a leader on a sinking ship. And so the dysfunctionalism became the atmosphere of the house, the text tells us. They were fighting when they came out, they were fighting when in the house. The atmosphere of the house was because the parents, uh, they engaged, they encouraged this sibling rivalry between the two born. Because Genesis 25 says, Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah loved Jacob. What I love about the text is then, now when you come to chapter 21, uh, Rebecca has desire, uh, derived this plan, and you all know that part real good too. Now the plan is one of deception and trickery, whereas now they're trying to deceive Isaac. We're going someplace. Esau is heart, heartbroken. Esau is angry. Now Esau vows, I'm going to kill my brother. As soon as my father closes his eyes, I'm going to kill him. Yeah. Now you have this house. Listen to this. This house now is built upon deception. The house is filled with deception. It's impossible to have a house filled with deception and the people in the house don't become filled with that same deception. Let me say it another way. Anything that is the nature of the house will become the essence of the people in the house. Let me give you some biblical proof. Let me give you some biblical proof. Let's go to our, our familiar text. Acts, the second chapter. And there came a rushing mighty wind. And what did it do, y'all? It filled the house. And after it filled the house... They begin to speak, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It filled the house first. The, the, the problem with many of us, even in church,